Good morning, MCCDC. I'm Joanna Hardy and I'm a member of the Board of Directors. I was asked to answer the question, who taught me the joy of giving? Interesting question as it presumes joy in giving. Today, I can truly testify there is unspeakable joy in giving. No one taught me the joy of giving. I discovered the joy in giving. And who showed me what it means to give? My parents, Mary and Joseph Hardy. While my mother was a teacher, she and my father didn't teach me in a classroom or through lectures. Honestly, I don't recall many specific conversations I had with them about giving. But I learned from them through their actions and their giving spirit to others. My mother, for example, not only gave of her treasures, but of her time and her talent. While I watched her as she wrote out checks for financial contributions to church, what made the greatest impact on me was seeing her giving of her time and her talent. She was very active in church activities, as well as with other organizations, from her role as church clerk, supporting the church in very difficult times like funerals, or happy times like weddings. She also loved supporting the education of children, organizing and raising funds for scholarships. I recall my mother spending countless hours using her talent oil painting to do paintings to be donated for fundraisers for scholarships. How she interacted with her students also taught me about giving. Unfortunately, many of her students were students other teachers had written off. But I recall my mother believed that no student is unteachable and accepted and, lo and loved each of them, often offering and spending countless extra time with them if needed to ensure that they learned what they needed to learn. I recall my parents opening their home to other family who needed help getting back on their feet. My father, while less active in organized uh, activities, also demonstrated a giving spirit. I'm not even sure he was aware of how giving he truly was. For example, he seemed to be the first to respond if someone called and needed help with something. The saying, actions speak louder than words, rings very true to me in the context of giving. To me, giving is not just about financial gifts. Yes, those are important. Bills must be paid even by the church. But giving, I believe, fundamentally is driven by a sense of community, love, and a desire to help and support one another. I am sure when my mother spent extra hours with a student or when my father responded uh, to a call from a family member stuck on the side of the road and needing help, they were not thinking about whether or not it was giving or whether there was joy in giving. Their actions reflected love and a desire to offer whatever help was needed and what they could provide. When my mother painted her paintings to donate for the church to raise funds for scholarships, I'm sure she was not thinking of it as a donation. Rather, I am confident she was thinking about the love she had for ensuring young people could get a good education. Giving is a blessing, not a chore. At MCCDC, I am inspired to give, not to check a box or say that I've given, but because I love and care for this community and I believe in our values and our mission. I give because I see a need by a community and people that I love. That is what my parents taught me and that is what gives me joy. And giving comes in many forms, financial, time and talent, ultimately is not about the amount of your gift, it's what you're able and inspired to offer to the MCCDC community. I firmly believe we are all a part of the body of Christ. Each one of us has a purpose. Each one of you has a purpose. 
God knows each of us by our name. When we come together, bringing what God has blessed and given each of us, that is joy and brings us closer to heaven on earth. Thank you.